Hi everyone, and uh, in this video, what we are going to discuss is uh, we have to we are going to construct a, an off adder using XOR gate, right? So let me show the circuit and truth table first. Here you have a circuit. Here you see you have XOR gate, and AND gate is here. We have two inputs A and B, and the outputs are sum and carry, right? So here we have two outputs. Sorry, two inputs, and the output. One is obtained from the XOR gate and another one is obtained from the this AND gate. Right? So this is the uh, block diagram, this is the truth table, and this is the logic diagram. And we are going to use Tinkercad in order to construct the circuit. So let's get into the Tinkercad. So here we have a circuit, and so here we have Tinkercad, and uh, we have a small breadboard here. You can search here and you are able to uh, find the breadboard. And IC XOR gate 7486 and 7408 is AND gate. And here you have a multimeter, and here we have a power source. And all these components are ground up that is, the negative of all the components IC, multimeter, and uh, power source is connected with the help of this black wire. Right? So, next I am providing the positive value that is, the power supply to the ICs. With the help of this red color wire. So once I connect this to this line, this line gets powered, and if I take wire from this and I connect it to the 14 pin, this IC will get powered. Similarly, for this IC also, here we have a wire and just connect it to the 14th pin. Right? Now, sorry, and now here I will be giving the inputs for this gate that is. Let's see, check this A and B for the six orbit. Okay, so here we have this. Then we have I, I am taking another multimeter from here uh, because we need two outputs in order to have a sum and carry. This is for sum and this is for carry, right? And uh, I am grounding this also, right? With the help of a black wire. And what I am doing is I am completing this circuit that is. A to A and B to B. That is the input. This inputs are connected to the input of the AND IC. Right? So that's what I am doing. That is second one to the second pin of the uh, AND gate. Similarly, first input to the first input of the AND gate. First XOR output and first AND input. And I am get taking the outputs now. Okay? Outputs are taken from the XOR gate first and next output is from the and gate and which is connected to the another multimeter. I am using the yellow wire now to distinguish between the uh, ground output, ground and output. Okay. Next, I am giving uh, input in order to distinguish between carry and uh, sum. I am using red color here. Right. So now we we have this negative wire. I, sorry, uh, positive wire. I took a red color and drawn a wire here and it is connected to this point in this line fully powered with negative values, positive value okay which is the high state okay if i start stimulate simulating what happens this is the zero zero state okay adder is nothing but it adds two bits okay zero plus zero is nothing but zero let's see the truth table if we have two zeros a plus a is zero b is zero zero plus zero is nothing but zero you don't need it you have any carry but if you have zero plus one you will be having one similarly for one plus zero is also one okay but if you have one plus one then you will be having one in carry okay so we have to check this we will check one zero and one one right so instead of having this color I am replacing this with the red color now to denote it is in the high state. So here if you have 1 and 0, right? If I start simulation, you will be seeing that that the output, that the sum output, which is the output obtained from the XOR gate is high. If I make both the inputs high, you will be getting output in carry. Okay. So here we have. So you can see that the carry in carry will be having the output. Okay, so this is the way we will use we use to construct 
of adder using XORP, right? So once you construct that and you are able to verify the, this truth table, okay, instead of writing uh, zeros and ones, you in order to write a verification table, you use five volt, five volt, five volt, five volt in the places of one, okay? And you have to mention that it is measured in volts. So if you like this video just share with your friends and if you have any comments you can share with me right happy learning see you bye bye